In my previous video, I talked about how to prevent sunburn during hot weather and got asked a question I thought needed a whole new video to provide an answer. The question was whether watering succulents during hot weather will cause them to rot. The answer can be kind of yes and no at the same time. I will be using, in my opinion, in my experience, personally, may and could quite a bit in this video. The results and experiences can differ across the board and may completely depend on your particular growing environment, the way you grow your succulents and which succulents you have. I have extensive experience on this topic and I grow well over 200,000 succulents every year and we also get the super duper hot summers with temperatures climbing over 40 degrees Celsius which is 104 Fahrenheit. But even then my experiences may be completely different to other people. The reasons are many. It could be the potting mix, type and size and even color of pots, position, humidity etc etc. So many variables come into play and we're dealing with living breeding things. So I'll mostly talk about what I do with my plants and what my experiences are. I will try to account for as many variables as possible. I have a whole separate video dedicated to explaining rot, so I do apologize to those of you who have already seen this, but just quickly as this will be very relevant later. Rot is mostly a fungal disease caused by various fungi, bacteria and fungus-like organisms resulting in decomposition and decay. In succulents, they usually attack during humid and wet weather. Rot can also be specific to a species or type and may affect one variety while the others go unharmed. The top causes in my experience for succulents rotting in hot weather were direct sun exposure when very hot, water and humidity. There were other things that seemed to have helped with a succulent's demise and they were black or dark colored pots, very small pots and succulents that were very thirsty. If you try and touch a black pot that has been in direct sun when it's over 40 degrees celsius you could burn yourself. Let's have a look at different scenarios I've experienced as not all heat is created equal. I noticed rot and or fungal disease the most, particularly in certain echeveria, when we had a stinker of a day in the 40s, followed by storms. The heat was unbearable and super sweaty due to high humidity. But not all succulents were affected. Most still survived quite well and even thrived. These were the hardiest of the hardy succulents such as Graptopetulum paraguayans or Crusula ovata etc. The worst affected were some Echeveria hybrids such as the Pulp or Narenberg or Romeo, some Crusula such as the Buddha's Temple or the Furry ones who tend to get rust and fancy Graptoveria hybrids like the Pink Ruby. These really hate the water heat humidity combo and attract rot. So the causes of rot in this case were the humidity, wet weather as well as heat in combination with sensitive succulent cultivars. But I have another scenario for you where water doesn't come into play at all, just the heat. During our 2019-2020 summer we were in massive drought, the temperatures were awfully hot and often crossed over 40 degrees and we were surrounded by raging fires. The closest one got 9 kilometers from the house before the arrival of La Nina extinguished it. There was a real possibility our house and my whole livelihood will burn down, but that's another story. A few succulent types and my other plants were so stressed by this relentless heat and low humidity they would just collapse. The potting mix and roots were dry but some succulents looked like they rotted. But I don't believe it was rot, as in the fungal disease. I think they pretty much cooked alive. I'd see the same thing with severely burnt succulents that were not covered by the shade cloth. Some of the hot days were also very windy and on a few occasions the strong winds ripped the shade cloth off when I wasn't at the nursery. Those that were exposed to the hot sun were either burnt, the leaves have fallen off or they looked rotted with yellowish translucent leaves. So it seems succulents can look rotted but they have actually just got cooked and this would happen irrespective of watering. Direct sun temperature is a lot higher than the forecast shade temperature. 
A fun fact, when you see weather forecast, the temperatures are for shade, not direct sun. To be entirely honest, the succulents seem to have coped better in the wet humid heat than in the dry heat. It goes against all that is said about succulents, but that was my experience with lots of plants. However, there are some variables that come into play. Let's have a look at why my succulents may have preferred to be a bit wet rather than completely dry and hot. One thing about my nursery is that I tend to grow succulents that are hardy. Every spring I order in a few different new hybrids and grow them to maturity. If they don't cope well with being grown outdoors in all kinds of weather, I will not keep growing them. So most of my succulents I sell are already pretty tough which helps greatly. I think a lot of problems people tend to have with succulents are modern hybrids. I love collecting all of the exciting new crosses for myself rather than to sell but many are not easy plants to grow. You almost need a greenhouse and a bit of knowledge for them to grow well. For example, the other day I bought a very cute plant which is a cross of Echeveria ebony and Cuspidata. Both of these Echeveria are not that easy to grow in wet and humid weather. They tend to get some type of fungal disease and rot pretty easily. Yet they were crossbred. They also do not like the strong heat. Another thing that comes into play is potting mix and drainage. The potting mix I use is top-notch, drains well enough but retains some water to actually feed the plant. I also make sure that my tables are leaning slightly and pots are elevated in trays so the water can escape easily. And finally, from mid spring to mid autumn I have a shade cloth above my potted succulents. This reflects the UV back and protects them from the worst of the sun. Even the snakes like the cool under the shade cloth. Well, it's a bit hard to say and give advice that would apply to absolutely everyone as all of the variables in the earlier chapter can affect how your succulent is going to behave during a heat wave. But I'll tell you what I do. So keeping in mind my succulents are pretty tough, grown in good potting mix and somewhat protected from the sun, I water pretty much every day during heat waves if it doesn't rain. If I don't, many will start losing their bottom leaves and getting extremely stressed just like these echeveria that I try to keep as dry as possible during a humid heat wave. Despite their high water content and drought tolerance, succulents can actually die from lack of water and completely dry out. This is pretty extreme though and I did it on purpose to find out just how long they'll go without water in the heat. The answer was about 3 weeks. But watering during heat goes against some other advice and I'd suggest you just look at both sides and decide what is best for your plants. I also apologize for such a long-winded roundabout answer. Unfortunately, it's never straightforward as there are so many factors that can influence the outcome. I do hope that some of you found at least a bit of this video useful. If you'd like to learn more about succulent care during heatwaves, you can go and watch my previous video. If you'd like to learn more about succulents, hit the subscribe button or go to succulentgrowingtips.com. Thank you very much for watching.